1998 on the R. Volkswagen Golf Convertible, two litre petrol, this one. Lovely, lovely colour, sort of a, a very light purple with a tan roof, electric roof, which is working. You can see we've got it down. Uh, at the end of the video, we will put that back up. At the end of the video there, we'll show you that all working. Nice little summer car, this one. Body work wise, we'll start off the bonnet, work our way around the Golf, onto the interior, and then we'll go for a cool engine start up. All nice and straight up both sides of the bonnet, no big dings or dents to sort of jumping out at us there, all nice and tidy. The odd little stone chip here and there. And the odd little sort of tree sap mark on the lacquer there. A little bit of a polish would square some of that away. But nice and presentable. No rust on the front there. Nice and tidy. Headlights are lovely and clear on both sides. Grills all nice and colour coded. All intact. No cracks out of that. Nice and clean on the left hand side. Bumper corner. A little bit of a chip there. But that's all. No big scuffs or scrapes. All nice and presentable across the front bumper there. As we come down the left hand side. Uh, right hand side. Sorry. Again. No scuffs or scrapes on the bumper corner. Plastics aren't all shined up black, they're all nice and standard with no scuffs on. A few little stone chips, that's all we need to note there. As I come up the left, uh, right hand side front wing, I'll get my left and right correct at some point today. Sorry about that. Right hand side front wing, no corrosion along the front there. All nice and tidy around the plastic arches, they're all fitting nice and snug. A tiny little bit just starting on the bottom of the driver's front wing, but apart from that, all nice and clean. Across the lower half of the sill section with the stone guard, all nice and clean across the lower half of the sill section. There's a few little marks just there. Bottoms of the doors, no rust coming through at the front, and I can see all nice and tidy as you come up the driver's door, lovely and straight down the whole of the right hand side, no nasty dings or dents. Wing mirror cap, no cracks in that at all. No corrosion or nasty marks around the handle. All nice and straight there. Some very, very light scratching behind. No big chips out the back of the door either. Lovely and tidy across the bottom of the whole door. A few little stone chips that I have noted. Onto the rear quarter, nice and straight. No corrosion coming through around the plastic arch there. And lovely and tidy up the whole rear quarter. No dings or dents. We have got a bird poo mark here next to the petrol cap, but no heavy scratching around the fuel cap. And no corrosion coming through around it normally sort of creeps around the arch there that's not the case on this one you can see how lovely and straight it is down that whole route at right hand side light lenses are lovely and clear on the rear no rust in the seams or around the barge and same again on the left hand side lovely and clear across the tailgate itself nice and tidy no dings or dents no rust coming through on the bottom corners or around the barge and lovely and flat across the boot lid itself there you can see all nice and tiny with a good shine to it Across the back bumper, a little bit of a mark on the plastic here on the right hand side. No scuffs or scrapes across the painted section of the bumper in the middle there. And the left hand side once again scuff free, nice and tidy there. A little bit of a bird poo mark further down on the bottom of the bumper. Down the rear quarter on the left hand side, we're lovely and straight, lovely and clean. No problems at all there, no rust coming through around the arch there. Lovely and fresh along the lower half sill section again with a nice black salt line. Lovely and tidy on the bottom of the rear quarter. All nice and fresh, good reflection there. No rust coming through once again around the plastic arch. As we come down the bottom of the passenger front door, lovely and tidy once again. A little bit of a stone chip there on the bottom of the passenger door, but that's all really, all nice and fresh. A really good colour, this one. No heavy scratching once again around the handle. A little bit of bubbling on the wind strip there, but that does happen with them being aluminium trims. And again, wing wear a cap, crack free on both sides down the lower half the wing on this section we've got a tiny little mark there on the lower half you can see that just coming through but apart from that lovely and fresh around the front wing no rush coming through around the indicator or around the plastic arch and a tiny little bit of a mark in the paint towards the front but once again lovely and level down the left hand side we'll go on to the interior now black cloth with some multicolored insert lovely and tidy on the door card no rips or tears on the door card there. A little bit of wear to the handle there. Just starting to sort of once clipped back on, I think, a little bit. You've got electric front and rear windows on this one. The seat itself with minimal wear to the seat. Lovely and tidy. Nice and clean. A little bit of a nick out the seat on the corner there of the driver's bit. On the driver's bolsters there. A little bit, just a little bit. We'll get your words out today. Just a little bit. I said that four times there. Eh? I am. All nice and tidy apart from that. Black carpet set throughout, no cracks to the dashboard. You will just notice that it does come with a matching turnover. James is about to take that off there, which is in good condition with no rips or tears. Dashboard, no cracks across the plastic. Aftermarket head unit fitted, which is pretty standard these days. As you come down the centre console, nice and tidy, a little bit of wear to the gear gator. Rear seats, we can just do it straight like that. Lovely and tidy in the rear, showing minimal wear, no cigarette burns 
or whips or tears to the rear seats from the left or the right hand side. Lovely and tidy from the left as well there, no problems at all with that. Passenger front again, door card, nice and tidy, no heavy scratching at all to the plastic. And lovely and fresh up that left hand side front seat. If we come down the bolster, have a look at that. Minimal wear once again to the bolster on the left hand side. Black carpet set with a little over mat. All lovely, clean and tidy in there. We go on to the engine bay now. Like I say, two litre petrol this one. Lovely and tidy in there. No problems at all with that. Uh, I'm going to fire it up here. I'm on my own for a second. So I'm going to fire it up. So bear with us a second here. Ignition on. Firing straight into life there. A little bit of a rev less you can hear that. Lovely and smooth on the tick over as well. Ticking over nice and happy with no problems at all from that there. Ticking over lovely and happy. I'm going to close that bonnet back down. What we'll do is we're going to put the roof up. I'll show you the condition of the roof here. Bear with us a second. I'm just going to pop the roof up, which is all electric as well. It is coming up there. And we'll have a look at the condition of the roof as it comes up. The inside's all lovely and clean, there's no hesitation. There's just some manual clips to uh, lock it in, which I will show you in a second. So the clips are fairly simple. You just push the button like that, and it comes down and it locks in like so at the front there. You can see that. That's very, very easy. I'm going to leave it unlocked because I'm going to put it back down. But have a look at the condition of that roof. That roof's in lovely condition, no rips or tears. Lovely and clean, it's lovely and tight all the way around. Glass back window, heated, so you don't get any delamination. See how taut it is, it's such a good colour on the purple bodywork, that one. Really, really nice and clean. Jamie's going to jump in it and put it back down for us so you can see it going back down. But lovely and tidy, like I say, just manual clips on both sides there. Really easy to work. If you just jump in there for us, James, and pop it back down. Like I say, all electric windows as well. Push it the other way, James. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> nice and smooth, no problems at all with that. With a torn over, torn over, torn over cover. And back up just one more time, James. Nice and smooth, no hesitation, no nasty noises. You can hear the pump whirling away there, doing its job. There you have it. Golf convertible with the electric roof, all working, lovely and tidy, ready for some summer use, that one.